This is the website I created to showcase the contribution made by 10 Muslim women in mathematics. There is a misconception against Islam that Islam promotes terrorism and Islam promotes violence. This is completely false. You have to remind them that Islam was born to promote education. Right? Look at Quran. Allah said, this website explores the narratives of 10 Muslim women mathematicians emerged in the last one millennia. To be more specific, in the last 11 centuries, last 1100 years from 9th century to 20th century. Four of them actually from 9th and 10th century, Fatma al Firi, starting from Fatma al Firi, who was born in Tunisia, 880. Guess who founded the World Fast University, male or female? Um, I think it's a female. She founded the World Fast University. Al Karawan was the place she was born, so she named her university Al Karawin. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm, I'm going to take a guess like Oxford or something. Whatever you, Cambridge. Um, whatever you, uh, Duke University. Duke, Duke University. It was actually a Muslim woman who founded the first university in the world, and her name was Fatima Al Fihri. Surat Al Muhammadi was born in 830 uh, AD in in Baghdad. Maryam Al Izliya was born in 927 in Syria. Lubna, Lubna of Cordoba, who was born in 927 in Al Andalus. And six of them emerged in 20th century, starting with Fazil Atunnesa, who was born in 1899 in British India, Bangladesh now. Of course, 1899 falls under 19th century. However, Begum Fazil Atunnesa lived 78 years. She died in 1977 in Dhaka, Bangladesh. So technically, her life belongs to 20th century. After earning her master's in mathematics from Dhaka University, she wanted to continue her education. Uh, she wanted to earn a postgraduate degree. In fact, she badly wanted to earn PhD in math. Now, I'm going to take you to Tunisia again, this time to meet with Fatima Al Muala. Fatima Al Muala was born in 1939 and she is the first Muslim women mathematician who earned PhD in mathematics. Now it's time to take you easy for the first time to meet with Tahani Ahmed. Tahani Ahmed was born in 1966 in Egypt and, um, and she's a Muslim women scientist at NASA. Now I'm going to take you to Mocha, the holiest place in Islam. So let's go to Saudi Arabia, Mocha, to meet with Hayat al Sindi. I'm here at Columbia University and I'm going to randomly choose some of the Columbia students to see if they recognize her. Can you identify her? She is the first Saudi Arabian woman who got PhD in biotech. Uh, um, that's her name. Hayat Sindi. It was my first day at Broken Tech this year. It was September 6th. So I directly went to the auditorium uh, after listening to uh, Principal Newman's uh, speech. Uh, it was the AP of English. And she told us that uh, she has a gift for every single teacher to make our classroom more diverse. And she said that every single teacher should pick up some posters for the classroom. So next day when I went there to pick up the poster, I saw Hayat Cindy. And that's how I met Hayat Cindy. That's how I met Hayat Cindy. And my eye filled with tears. She, she is the first, the first Saudi Arabian woman. First Saudi Arabian woman, PhD in biotech from Cambridge. A big deal. So what I did, I took a few posters and I hang it around my classroom to make it more diverse for women with hijab, for women with any color, for women with any background, for women with any country so that they can be like her. Now I'm going to take you to Iran to meet with 
Raya Behasti. Raya Behasti was born in 1977. She is a math professor here in the United States, but she's bigger than that. She worked with Maria Mirjakani, the greatest Muslim women mathematician of all time. I will end our story with Maria Mijakani. Maria Mijakani was the first woman won the field medal. No, I don't recognize her. What about what about no, you? No, I don't. So she uh, she was because she died in uh, 2017. She was the first mathematician ever won the field medal in mathematics. Field medal is like Nobel Prize in mathematics. Please watch individual video to learn more about them.